Hello everyone, we're the Euphorus Sisters, and today we're going to be spending our day in the Enchanted Forest. Why don't you take a look around? If you're ever in the UP and you need um, a fresh water source, there's never a fresh water source more than five miles away from you. Always keep that in mind. And you also have the trees to guide you. Here's a little trick you can do if you're ever lost in the Northern Hemisphere. Trees can be your compasses. This is north, this is west, this is south, and this is east. How can you tell? Because moss normally grows on the north hemisphere. On the northern side because yeah. it gets less sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> if you're ever lost, like this trick we showed you, and you can't find home still, and you need to keep warm, you can all, birch bark is the best way to start your fire. Right, Viv? Yeah. And it even has a source of food, like chocolate. Pine sap is good for healing wounds and for healing soul floats. And it's also good for water sealing and fire starting. So if you go on a pine tree and you see one of these bumps like this and you crack it, there's actually a lot of sap in there. Good job. Pine boughs can really make good beds like haze. Haze is a comfy one. So. They work good for making soft beds, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we have, remember that video about the fort? And we didn't finish it. So we finished it here. Why don't you take a look inside? We have a nice little hot dog for you. Oh, you and then we have our little tears. And we even have moth ventilation. Now that's a good fort. If you find anything in the forest, it can really be useful for anything. Like this wire we found can be used for making traps or tying things together. So the bun we've made a snare. And the bunny comes through and then it jumps through the wire and then the snare catches it like that. That's what a snare is. And then over here, we have a successfully made a fire pit. And while you're getting your rocks, there's also a good chance you could find some worms. And that's what you could use for fishing. Uh, at night time, you used to... At morning time, you saw a fire, and then and then it would heat up the rocks, and then and then at night you can use them to warm up like your tiger, and then you, that's that's how you do it. And if you if you want to hunt, to do it too. We built a fire, and as you can see, we already got it set, but we're not going to light it. Um, but make sure you have all the leaves and stuff like that away from your fire, and keep the rocks around. That's kind of like a break if the fire gets too big and if it gets like and then you can all oh hi ah! <laughs> what uh what, what form how did we set up our fire did we make it in a pyramid or what did we do we, we took birch bark and put it under and then we made a pyramid on top with all the kindling a teepee right yeah teepee and how close to the shelter should we build the fire Close enough that it keeps us warm, but not close enough that it catches on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You for Sisters Survival 101. Survival 101. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.